Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Bonjour, hello, more to the point, bonsoir, good evening, good night. You join me at 2 in the morning. What am I doing up at 2 in the morning? I'm playing radio in the in the, in the man cave, radio shack, whatever you want to call it. Now, I taught myself a little trick when I bought an old Eddie Stone valve receiver radio in the middle 80s and got very frustrated with it not doing much on a standard CB antenna. So with me having this radio and what is effectively a ham antenna, uh, I had the same thing and then the little flashing light bulb thing happened with me. I thought, let's try this. So with my shortwave listening, here is an absolutely fantastic trick for the long wave segment of the shortwave HF radio band. Here's the video. Just using my radio with my antenna for 11 meters and I'm at the top end of the 160 meter amateur band. 1.9 megahertz or best to stick to kilohertz in shortwave listening it's a lot simpler so we're on 1900 kilohertz now put the volume right up to halfway I hear voices volume at maximum Definitely something there. Now I'll leave the volume up here and I'll show you a really neat trick. Just go to the back of the box, get the PL plug for the antenna, and just have it. With only the inside connected, never ever transmit on anything when it's like that. Now let's play with it. Let's attenuate it down a wee bit. Volume up onto the tuner. Volume back down, attenuation off. Look at that, signal 5. Presto. We can tune in to a, Yorkshire, a couple of Yorkshiremen. Now, if I just quickly put the antenna connection back, 
Take it off again. Just putting the tuning back to standard and also the attenuation back to standard. And I'll put the aerial back to standard. And even with the volume up, no, nah, lost them. <laughs> So there we have a little max top tip, as it were, for shortwave listening. Now, I'll say that that really only works below about 5 MHz, 4 MHz and down, but it works right the way through the old medium wave and long wave radio bands. And one thing that I do when I do this is always test my SWR, my antenna tuning, before I do it and test it again afterwards, just in case I've jigged up something. So that's it. It's a, a pretty fantastic thing. And I've kind of looked all over YouTubes and stuff and I've never come across anyone else doing this. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I enjoy playing around. Yeah, two in the morning is the best time for that part of the frequency band. Uh, night time. Above about 10 megahertz or so you'll catch daytime stuff. Below is the nighttime stuff. So for once, one night, just up late playing my radio. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe down there and click the alert bell for further notifications of further videos. And don't forget you can smack on the old like if you like it, make comments, share it with people, all that YouTube jazz. So anyway, ciao!